All right, this is Petunia Cross Hybrida. Or Petunia. Okay. All right, this is one you gotta feel. And then after you feel it, you gotta smell it. All right, it's kind of tacky. Feels sticky to the touch. And then it's got a, it smells like Petunia. It's really the only way I can, uh... well, I guess I should say, uh, Petunia is also one in Solanaceae family. Okay. The flowers are the leaves. You guys not smell it? Which one, did you, which one did you pick? You're, this is Nicotiana right here. No, no, I didn't pick that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really smell that good, huh? No, well, it's not. It's not a good smell, but what I'm saying is, is that it's a unique smell. Right. Okay, yeah, so it, uh, it smells uh, also in the tomato family, right? <laughs> Tomatoes also Solanaceae, I believe. So that also gives it that, uh, it's got a similar smell to me. Tomatoes are a little more pungent, yeah. but uh, it's still mm -hmm. kind of getting the same. All right, so you get uh, these really broad, sort of uh, ovate leaves. All right, elliptical ovate leaves. Okay. You see uh, pubescence all over them, sort of a hispid, almost a scratchy pubescence all over the foliage. Okay, especially on the stem, you can see it really clearly. All right, the whole thing has a sticky feel to it, and then you get these trumpet-shaped flowers that uh, a lot of times if kids draw flowers on a sheet or something like that, they're gonna draw something that looks really similar to this. this is, when I think of a, of a, a true sort of flower, I, I think of a petunia a lot of times, okay? Uh, obviously, we've got a, a number of different, uh, these are actually petunias that have seeded in, and that's You'll, you'll buy uh, a, a certain cultivar of petunia, and unless you deadhead it or cut it back before it actually makes seed, uh, you'll typically the next year get seed that come up from that particular one that make uh, petunias that are not similar to to uh, the one you had. Let me talk. Okay, so. You'll have uh, petunias that are, that are not similar to the ones that are uh, that, I, that you bought. Okay, uh, whites, pinks, purples, um, and all sorts of different combinations of those colors. And then you get into other petunias that are actually uh, more hardy here. So these are uh, nice, and they'll start coming up you know during early spring and and a lot of times they'll survive our winters but the petunias that we uh, think of as more hardy ones a lot of them can go uh, most of them can't make it the whole time through the summer but can go through a good portion of our summer they have smaller flowers that are less showy but at any rate just make sure you get the ones that you're wanting uh, if you're going to use them in a particular landscape okay Questions?